imagine me and you. I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. Without, without, if we played a turtle song, it would be a good nice. segue Intro. into Dr. Gray from the Wildlife World Zoo because he brought in turtles. And tortoises. Now, see, the thing is, it's this turtle that you're holding here. It doesn't yeah. sing, does it? It doesn't sing. Huh. No, no, I'm it's sorry. But we are, we are not... happy to be together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> does it like you holding it, though? Right no, now? judging well, from it. its demeanor, it doesn't. This is an alligator snapping turtle. I'm holding it up because I want him to show you his mouth. You see that little pink appendage down in his lower jaw there? Yeah. That's called a vermiform appendage, and it wiggles like a little worm when he's underwater lying in wait. So fish come by thinking that's a, a prey animal, and then he slams his jaws shut. And you can see how sharp those uh, bony ridges are on his jaws. Mm -hmm. yeah. It catches any prey that would, would dare to travel in there like a spring-loaded trap. And uh, they just lie in wait underneath the water. There, there, that, that, there you can see it's kind of wiggling a little bit. Yeah. Um, and they lie in wait for their prey to swim by. Boy, it's an, uh, well, this is, could be so the ugliest. Wanna... It's a very prehistoric it's animal. This could be the yeah. ugliest animal you ever brought on here. It's it, definitely it's not It's certainly cute. in the top five. Yeah. And these are found uh, where? In, these are in the, uh, the Salt to... River? No. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. We're going to have some surprise tubers out there. Uh, <laughs> because they will go for ducks and, and toes, I suppose. Okay. But no, they, they should not be in the Salt River unless someone's released one out there. These are southeastern United States into our, our old neighborhood in Ohio, Illinois, Indiana. They're actually endangered in some states. Good thing you got states. out of Ohio. You're I'm, I'm kidding. Go I down. thought maybe this would be like in some exotic country like oh, in Africa no. or the, the, the uh, you know, down in South America. No, these are native to the United States and actually in other parts of the world they are prized because of this unique shell here. Mm. Uh, and so in some parts of the United States they are endangered because uh, they've been collected uh, to extreme mouth. Now, I we noticed have one as soon as you set him down, he closed his mouth. He did. He's, he's happier now. Now, we do have one at Wildlife World Aquarium that is about the size of your coffee table here. He's well over wow. 100 pounds and probably 60 or 70 years old. So they're a very long lived species and spend most of their life underwater uh, or at the surface. They, are, they do have to breathe air, so they do have to surface every once in a while to take mm -hmm. in the breath. But by and large, they spend their life in you the water. You suppose they live so long because they're so slow. They're not they're hurried. Running. They're yes. not stressed. Yes. They're probably jazz players in another yeah. life. You're absolutely <laughs> what right. If, what about this little now, baby? This is, a, this is unique. This is an Indian star tortoise. Now, one of the things we wanted to do today was talk a little bit about the difference between turtles and tortoises. This guy has webbed feet and claws, the, the big alligator snappy mm -hmm. turtle. This guy is more stocky built. Even though Look he's the go. size of a quarter, he's only about five days old. And uh, those, those patterns on his shell will actually form stars when he gets a little bit older. Uh, and, and each scoot, which is one of these little sections of the shell, mm -hmm. each one will have a star shape to it, oh. which gives it the name Indian star tortoise. Not and a he'll very, get big? Not, a, not too big. Maybe about the size of our desert tortoise here, oh, maybe okay. 15 pounds okay. or so maximum. No, nothing like uh, an Aldabra or a Galapagos tortoise. So, but this is totally a, a land-dwelling animal. If you put that in your pool or in a, the water, it would sink to the bottom and, and never make it back oh. to the That's bottom. the difference so, because the one that with the web feet is a water yes, animal. Yes, they crawl on the bottom, they yeah. swim. And then, of course, we have marine turtles, which have flippers, which are very aquatic right. animals. So, yeah, you find down at the Galap Galapagos Islands. You can find them throughout the coastal United States and elsewhere, yeah. Now, what about the tortoise that we have here. It is I a tortoise. I found one in my backyard a long time ago. It is a desert. You found one just randomly in your backyard? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, well, this is the time of year that you might see them because the, the monsoon rains, they're out foraging. Uh, they're only active about 10 months out, or excuse me, two months out of the year. Uh -huh. uh, the rest of the time, they're, they're, under, they're underground. Are they poisonous? Not poisonous at all. Not okay. at all. No, they're actually a, a protected species because they've lost habitat. So you don't want to touch them. You don't want to, if you have tur turtles or tortoises at home, you don't want to ever go, you know, never you want to do that. Uh, it's illegal to go out and collect them. Gotcha. Um, but there are plenty that you can get through an adoption type program that the Game and Fish Department has. So, okay. um, because there are some non releasable animals. Okay. Okay. All right. Good to see I you. like this one. This one's okay. This one, can, I figured that had your name. Yeah, I mean, all I touched over. it. That's yes. like a step it's in like the right direction. It's like a little bonbon. I mean, look how yeah. tiny he is. The other one's he's moving cute. closer to you. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not. Rick's just messing. No, with as long as his mouth is closed, I feel okay. <laughs> but it Dr. Is Gray, Wildlife we, we World Zoo. We think that about Rick too. Bump <laughs> 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 bump. All right, see you, Rick. That's our okay. I'm used to the abuse. It kids because he cares. He's a friend from Cleveland. Get MyFoxPhoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.